Uh, only one Kenobi here, only one. Welcome to Collection Room B. This is where I have this toy rack. Well, I don't know what you call it. Came from Toys R Us, this rack. I use it for stuff that's just in limbo, just about to be opened, or just stuff that's surplus, stuff I sell, trade in, whatever. But I just thought I'd put this up here. I got this a couple of days ago when I got back from Florida. And it actually does hang up all right there, but it ain't staying there. But I'm just enjoying how it looks just stuff, because look at it, it's vintage packaging and it's just up of these vintage cards on here as well. If you're new to my channel, I got this. This is in my home, we're not in a store here. I got it from Toys R Us just when they were shutting down the local branch. I was literally selling everything. So anyway, what I'd like to do is get that open and check these awesome new cards out. Join me. Boom. Okay, so here we are. Before we do anything, I just want to show you the actual packaging because it came in a three pack. When they first announced these skiff cards, I thought, oh, they're going to put it in a special action figure set. Personally, because I love vintage cards, I wanted to see as many figures as possible coming out on cards. So I was naturally delighted to see that this was a three pack, yes, but there are three individual vintage card backs in there, so that's awesome. So this is a, I don't think, have they ever done this before? Let me know in the comments. Is this something that's brand new for this year or have they in the 80s packed three individual figures together like that? Either way, the packaging is pretty nice. And as I say, I'm a bit of a weak um, soul when it comes to packaging nowadays. Judging by how good it looked up there, I was a bit like, oh, I don't want to open it now. But no, I do want to open it. This packaging will survive. It's not going to get broken. I'm going to very carefully in a moment. I'm not going to bore you with all that, but I'll do that. I'll stop filming. I'll just show you this and then cut, open it up with a knife carefully and then close it up. I'm getting a second lot delivered. This came from ID Toys. I'm, ex oh, I'm expecting another version with dark, dark Side Toys to arrive. So then I've gone and got two, so that means I will be opening it. I'd love to open... I will be opening some, I'm jumping the gun when I say, as usual when I'm talking. I was just about to say, I'd love to open, or I don't need to open him because I already have him from the Black Series. I will do a comparison when I do individual figure reviews. I'm going to open him and him. So for now, just to give you a, a heads up, if you're watching this video expecting a full opening as in getting the figures out, you're going to have to bear with me on that one. That, that I will be doing that in a later video. This is purely unboxing and unpackaging these individual car backs so we can have a look at them. And have a look at this exterior packaging and then join me and subscribe to my channel i will be reviewing these not long from now so stay tuned for that have i showed you the back oh, yeah. let's do that again just in case there's quite a lot of text on the back there i'm not going to read that to you because this is boring i can maybe hold it still <laughs> camera sound you can read that if you want at your leisure let's have a look on these bits on the side so figuras spanish for figures Figurines, figures, what's on here? Nothing there, that's just rubbish. Well, that's not rubbish, you know what I mean? It's just boring, nothing there. There was something else on the top, yeah, let's have a look at this. So what have we got here? Let me try and keep this camera as still as possible. It's very dark, that let me go from over here. So there they are, there's our three guys. I have these as well, I have Luke. I'm waiting for another version, again, from Dark Sides coming soon, so I can start opening and reviewing them or whatever. So that's all good, that's all to come. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, let's just get this thing open, eh? Nice packaging. Very good. Got that vintage feel. So they come out of the box like that. There's the uh, cardboard runner, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to mount this camp. Yeah, let's just have a quick look at them, just as they sit. So they're nicely packed in there. Definitely going to be free of dings and creases and warps in that state. So let me just mount this camera like this. Stay still, will you? Okay, let's get these on the wall. This is, I'm literally having my first look at these cards. I've seen them in videos and stuff, but this is my first look with my own eye. And they look very nice. And I can tell, I'll tell you now what I've just gone, I've just gone to my Katana and I've got what I do have for Vizam off there because I want to do a little comparison. I can do that now for you. He looks a little different, but we'll investigate that later. And I've also taken off my katana, the guns, one of the guns that come with it, and also the gun that came with Vizam, because this Vizam also does come with a gun, which is from the, obviously from the eye now when I look at it, it's different from the one that came in the Black Series. When I talk about the Black Series, Vizam is a repack from this line here, orange card. That line of figures there, Vizam came out in that first, so they've repacked him. So I have no need to open him, I already have him. So I will have a duplicate Vizam when I get my second lot from Dark Side Toys. 
that's enough chat. Let's get on these cards now and let's look at these. The first comment I want to make is the fact that they're really teasing me now. <gasps> look at that. Now that's no fault of ID Toys. That's just factory, that, isn't it? It's got to be. Anyway, yeah, the basically, oh, look, dual pill. Wow. So this, these car backs, this guy and Brock are really teasing me about the Blue Sky FET that I'm desperate for them to release. Because look at this. Wouldn't a Blue Sky FET look awesome with these guys? If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the Blue Sky FET, I can't help you now. I can't pull up any images or anything yet because I want to keep this video pretty clean for the quality. Uh, anyway, moving on. This is Vizam. I'll come back to Vizam in a minute when I show you the loose version. And this is Brock. And i be honest with you, I don't know if I like the look of this character as an alien. He's that guy, is he? Is it him? I know that sci-fi knows. <laughs> My mate sci-fi. So that's all three of them. Very nice. So I'm going to open him, and I'm going to open him because I'm going to be getting a skiff soon. I do own a barge. I'm one of those lucky people. Um, and I don't take that for granted at all. I'm very lucky to own a barge and... So anyway, moving on, uh, I'm going to have him and him, not on the barge, but on the skiff that's coming. He's on my barge. Well, here he is. Now, should we have a look at him? I'll tell you what, I'm going to just make things a little better to see. I'll put this here, put him on a bit of an angle. So this Vizam here, I can tell the chest is painted differently. This is the vintage collection one. Is it too bright? I'm going to just change the light in a bit. There's his eyes. You can tell there's a bit of a shadow cast on this. I hope you're getting the gist. And here is the Vizan that came with the um, the Black Series, which you can see the chest has not got as much, as many touch-ups. It's usually the case with Black Series. They, they tend to put a bit more effort into the vintage collection stuff. Sometimes figures can be exactly the same. You know, when you compare a Legacy Collection figure to a... Black Series one or a vintage collection figure, um, and then as for his gun, I was just trying to figure out. I'm gonna put him back here again. I was trying to figure out if they'd given us one of the ones from the Katana, and the one from the Katana is awesome, by the way. Uh, that's what you're getting now with Vizam, and it does hook onto the um, the bow of the Katana, which is nice. This is the one that came with the Black Series, which is slightly darker. That one's brighter, isn't it? As you can tell. But this one that came with the Katana is awesome. You should be able to see the difference in quality. That one beats all both of them. It not only hooks on on a little peg hole, but the actual quality of the touch-up, it, it's, it's almost like it, it looks like it's metal. Whereas these look like they're kind of painted plastic. That one, I think, maybe could look worse. It's, it's quite bright, isn't it? It looks like a, a Cyberman-type <laughs> finish. Um, going on to quality of figures, I forgot I was going to grab somebody in now. I was going to go and get one of my favourite aliens, which is which is weak, not weak way, um, Nikto. Just a regular Nikto, which is the name of the species, but that's his name. I was looking at this guy's face and I wasn't convinced that he was the best skin tone and finish for Nikto I've seen. I found that with Vizam. If you hold on the line there, ladies and gentlemen, just enjoy looking at these cards. I hope this doesn't fall. While I run and get somebody for you. Hold on there, please. You know what I'm like? I do this all the time. You got it right, Manny MG villain. I'm well prepared for my videos, brother. But I want to show you this guy. This is a really... Is he underrated? I think this guy needs credit as being one of the best facial sculpts they've done for it. Look at that texture of the leather and the leatheriness of the face just really captures the screen accuracy of the species for me. I found that, I know that um, Bosk's Bounty ranked him lower than the new guy. What's his new, what's the new guy called? The new Klaatu figure he said was better than this, but I think this guy is so well made, as is Woof. This guy from the Black Series, I didn't like him as much, plus his, his helmet's a bit rubbish. I have a bit of blue tack on there as well to keep it on. It falls off easily, whereas this guy's helmet goes on like a glove and sits on really nicely like fabric would. And then this guy again is the same pretty much, isn't he? He's got his, his head, his, his headgear off now. But when I had my first, I'm giving you my honest appraisal of these figures here. 
ladies and gentlemen. When I first looked at his face, I thought it looked like maybe a bit of a rushed finish. I can, I can, yeah, you get in this. I'm sorry if it's not bright enough. Let me get some more light on there. Steady the camera. It still looks good, but I just... And it, again, you might not be able to pick up on it on camera, but that was just my a, a thought of a, a opinion of him. It looked like the, the paint had just been sloshed on. I don't know. But awesome. It's it's a third Nikto, and I love the species. I really do love Niktos. And then there's this guy who looks like... I don't want to say what he looks like. It's just a funny headgear, isn't it? What is that helmet? It's just too spacey. <laughs> it's too science fiction-y. I never even knew this guy existed. That's such a... A rare production shot, isn't it? But I think there's a guy. The only time I remember a guy with a head like that is that 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 dope. When he hit, when he goes through the wind chimes, when Bush or Chewy, one of the two, pushes him out of the way. So, oh, very quickly, let's have a look on the back. So you got VC 152, 153, and this should be 100. And, yes, it's 154. And that is them, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed a good look at that. And stay tuned. Please do subscribe. I will be opening them all in good time. This has been only one, Kenobi. Only one.